All right, in this video, I picked up the little Pisky Fun, is the brand name of this line spooling device for respooling your fishing reels. Uh, since we started doing charters, we have had to respool a lot more than we thought we were going to, just from the people getting extra tangles, snagging up on deep water racks, losing more line. We have to respool reels, seems like every other week now. And doing it the old fashioned way, using screwdrivers through the holes in the spools just is really a big pain in the butt. It takes two people a lot of times. Whether you're doing it by yourself or not, it's just not fun. So I saw a lot of advertisements for this. Yes, I can be sold. We decided we'd give it a try. It's not but about 35 bucks off Amazon. I got it off Amazon. There's a link in the description below. And we're going to find out if the Piscifun line spooler is actually worth it or if it's a big piece of junk. So we're going to find out right here and let you know. Hit that subscribe button down there. Check this out. All right, so out of the box, this is how the Pisky Fund comes. You have your instructions, and you have your parts. The main piece of this thing right here, the little gizmos that hold your spool. Of course, this part that spins. You have your handle, which you just assemble by pushing it together. And it has, of course, the reel seat right there for attaching the reel. It also has these little bushings in here for different size spools. These are adapters for different size spools of line that you might have. And obviously there's a lot of different sizes for your real spools. So these are adapters for those. All right, so I've got this thing assembled. Obviously for a spinning reel, we're gonna have it hanging down. And the spool I'm using is just uh, some braid that I have, 30 pound braid, normal size spool. Now this is a thousand yard spool, so obviously there's smaller ones than this. But I'm going to see about how hard it is to get them into those little holes there. All right, that looks easy enough. You have a little tension adjuster here. This will adjust kind of like your drag, if you will, on how tight you're going to spool your line onto your reel. And with braid, I like to spin it on pretty tight. That's plenty tight there. Now let's go ahead and get our reel on. This brand new Daiwa BG 2500 series. This holds about 170 yards of uh, 30 pound braid. So this will be a great flounder inshore reel for us. Maybe even a wreck fishing reel too. So you see that all mounts up pretty easily. We'll just put a knot on there and be ready to spool this up. And the idea is this thing will rotate Preventing line twist, I want to tighten our drag up pretty good for this. And go ahead and start spooling it up. Wow, I'll tell you what, it's holding the line really snug. Snug as you would if you were doing screwdrivers and holding it with your feet. If you guys have ever spooled up a reel on your own, you know what a pain in the butt it is to do by yourself. And really, even with somebody else, because somebody's got to hold those screwdrivers while everything gets hot spinning around. So, so far this is a whole lot easier. And I've got this thing set really tight also. That's a function of the reel itself, but have a look at the reel. How straight the line's going on there. You've got to start a little slow with it. So it will spin with you. Then you can speed up. This is already so much faster and easier. There's really no need to get in a hurry. I'll tell you what, that is so much more enjoyable than doing it the other way with a pencil or a screwdriver through the hole and trying to do all this needing an extra hand. And I'm going to fill this dude up as far as I can get away with. The kind of fishing we typically do is mostly bottom fishing on the wrecks and stuff. And have an extra line really is a nice thing to do. So that reel looks pretty full. Check that out. Man, is that easier. Pretty much ready to take this reel, put it on the rod, and put this thing in service. Look at that. Full up to the gills. No problem. And easy to do. Now, in case you guys are wondering, this is a 1500 yard spool of 80 pound Power Pro. It is not going to fit even anywhere close. In this thing. This thing does not get wide enough to go on this spool without breaking something. Even with that middle piece out, that spool is just too big. It is not going to go 
on that device. So for 1500 yard big spools, you're gonna have to do it the old fashioned way with screwdrivers. So Piscifun comes out with a new head for this for big spools. Are you listening Piscifun? So the Piscifun line spooler, I gotta tell you, I like this a lot. Uh, quite frankly, I'd have paid a lot more for something that makes spooling up reels that much faster, that much easier with no line twist. And because you can lock this thing so it doesn't spin, this is going to be great for doing our bait casters and level lines as well. All you can do is tighten that down, and this part doesn't spin anymore. And when you're done, you can pack it right back into the box it came in, keep everything in one place, and protect it. Yes, I'm impressed. I will put a link to this down in the description below. I got it off Amazon. You might as well get it off Amazon too. If you don't like it, you can send it back. As many reels as we've had to spool this year, and this thing spooled up this Daiwa BG reel. So easy, so fast. Filled it up all the way really quick. Tell you what, this makes free spooling your lines a whole lot faster and easier. So hit that subscribe button down there and the bell icon to turn on the notifications so you don't miss videos like this one. A thumbs up like button sure would be nice. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.